Ever wondered why some cars roar with power, while others just... purr? The answer might lie deep inside the engine, specifically, the V engine. Let's break down what makes it so powerful, popular, and absolutely iconic. A V engine, or V-type engine, is a configuration where the cylinders are arranged in two angled rows, forming a V-shape when viewed from the front. Simple, right? This clever design helps make powerful engines more compact and balanced. In a V engine, the pistons move in a synchronized fashion, firing in a precise sequence. This allows smoother performance, better balance, and more cylinders in a tighter space. V6, V8, V10, and even V12s. The more cylinders, the more power. V engines are everywhere, from muscle cars and luxury sedans to race cars and motorcycles. Why? They offer a sweet balance of performance, smoothness, and space efficiency. A V6 gives you a mix of speed and economy, while a V8, well, that's all-out performance. Two cylinders, one powerful roar. Today, we're diving into the heart of many iconic motorcycles, the legendary V2 engine, also known as the V-twin. A V2 engine has two cylinders set in a V-shape, usually at an angle between 45 degrees and 90 degrees. You'll find these bad boys powering Harley-Davidson's, Ducati's, and many custom bikes. It's compact, powerful, and full of character. In a V2 engine, the pistons move in a staggered sequence, creating a distinctive thump-thump rhythm. That uneven firing order? It's not a flaw, it's a signature. It gives V-twins their raw, rumbling personality. So that's the V2 engine, small in size, big in attitude. If you ride a V-twin, you know it's not just a machine, it's a feeling. You've heard of V6 and V8 engines, but what about the mysterious V4? Yep, a four-cylinder engine in a V configuration. Rare, compact, and built for performance. Let's talk about the V4 engine. A V4 engine is made up of four cylinders split into two banks, forming a V shape, usually between 60 and 90 degrees. It's like a V-twin, but double the power. Most four-cylinder engines are in line, but the V4 is shorter in length, making it ideal for tight spaces where balance and compact power matter. V4 engines are most famous in motorcycles. Bikes like the Honda VFR and Aprilia RSV4 use them to deliver smooth power with a compact footprint. And in MotoGP, Honda's RC213V, a V4-powered monster, is one of the most dominant bikes on the track. Some cars, like the Ford Taunus V4 or Lancia Fulvia, also used V4 engines, mainly in the 60s and 70s, but they're rare in cars today. V4 engines sound incredible, like a cross between a V-twin and an inline four. They deliver smooth power, great torque, and insane top-end performance. That's why high-end race bikes and sport bikes love them. V5 engine? You're not hearing things, it's real, it's rare, and it actually made it into production cars. Let's talk about Volkswagen's oddball masterpiece, the V5 engine. A V5 engine is exactly what it sounds like, five cylinders in a V-shaped configuration. But how do you split five cylinders evenly into a V? You don't, and that's what makes it so interesting. VW based the V5 on their VR6 engine, using a super narrow 15 degree angle. It's more like a staggered inline engine than a true V shape. One cylinder bank has three, the other has two. Volkswagen used this engine mainly in Europe between 1997 and 2006. It showed up in the VW Bora, Passat, and Golf Mark IV. The most powerful version? A 2.3 liter V5, making up to 170 horsepower. It was smooth, had a unique exhaust note, and offered something different from your typical inline four or V6. A V6 engine has six cylinders arranged in two banks of three, forming a V shape. This design is a sweet spot, balancing power, efficiency, and compact size. V6s are shorter than inline sixes and lighter than V8s. That's why automakers love them. You'll find V6s everywhere, from family cars like the Toyota Camry and Honda Accord to performance beasts like the Nissan 370Z and Ford Mustang, and even in trucks and SUVs like the Ford Explorer and Jeep Grand Cherokee. Even with electric vehicles and downsized engines on the rise, the V6 is still holding strong, especially in performance, towing, and off-road segments. It's a proven layout that continues to evolve. Power, performance, presence. That unmistakable rumble, it's a V8 engine. A legend on wheels. Let's explore why the V8 is one of the most iconic engines in the world. 
A V8 engine has eight cylinders arranged in two banks of four, forming a V. This setup gives it a perfect balance between power and smoothness, with twice the combustion firepower of an inline four. It's larger and thirstier than a V6, but delivers unmatched torque and acceleration. V8s show up in all the fun places, Mustangs, Camaro SS, Dodge Hellcats, even Ferraris and Aston Martins. And don't forget the trucks. Ford's F-150 and Chevy Silverado rely on V8s for towing and hauling. The growl, the rumble, that deep-throated roar, it's the sound of a V8 breathing fire. It's not just performance, it's personality. More exotic than a V8, smoother than a V12, meet the V10 engine, a rare mechanical masterpiece built for performance, precision, and that glorious scream. A V10 engine has 10 cylinders arranged in a V-shape, usually at a 60 or 90 degree angle. It's like combining the torque of a V8 with the smoothness of a V12. Not too big, not too small, the V10 sits right in the sweet spot for exotic performance. You won't find V10s in your average sedan. These engines power icons, like the Lamborghini Gallardo, Audi R8 V10, Dodge Viper, and the legendary Lexus LFA. If the V8 growls and the V12 sings, the V10 screams. Just listen to the LFA's Yamaha-tuned V10, arguably the best. Absolutely, now we're talking about the king of smoothness and power, the V12 engine. The V12 isn't just an engine. It's a status symbol, a mechanical symphony, and the heartbeat of automotive royalty. The V12 engine. When you hear it, you know. It's the engine of legends, built for those who demand the best in performance, prestige, and power. A V12 engine features 12 cylinders arranged in two banks of six, forming a perfect V. This layout gives it incredible balance, silky smooth operation, and a glorious high revving sound. It fires every 60 degrees of crank rotation, making it one of the smoothest running engines ever made. V12s live in the rarest and most exclusive cars. From the raging Lamborghini Aventador, the elegant Rolls-Royce Phantom, to the thunderous Ferrari 812 Superfast. They've also powered classics, limousines, and even Formula One cars back in the day. The sound of a V12 isn't just noise, it's music. Ferrari's scream, Lamborghini's roar, and Rolls-Royce V12's purr like royalty. It's engineering turned into emotion. Unfortunately, the V12 is an endangered species. With electric cars and turbocharged hybrids taking over, fewer manufacturers can justify these engines. But some brands like Ferrari and Lamborghini are finding ways to keep the V12 alive with hybrid tech. Oh yes, now we're entering the ultra-rare, ultra-powerful realm of the V16 engine, a mechanical monster built only for the craziest luxury, the wildest speed, or the boldest engineering flexes in history. Twice the cylinders of a V8, more powerful than a V12. Say hello to the V16 engine, a beast so rare it's basically a unicorn on wheels. A V16 engine has 16 cylinders arranged in a V shape, eight on each side. It's basically two inline eights joined at the crankshaft, offering insane smoothness and absurd power. It's smoother than a V12, larger than a V8, and overkill in the best way possible. V16s were once the ultimate luxury engine. Cadillac and Marmon used them in the 1930s to power giant, silent luxury cruisers. But in the modern era, only one brand dared to bring it back, Bugatti. Their W16 engine is technically two V8s fused together, creating the world's most powerful production car engines. 1,000 plus horsepower, 400 plus kilometers per hour, a V16 that breaks records. The V16 isn't for the average car. It's for a $2 million hypercar or a massive pre-war limousine. Bugatti's W16 isn't a traditional V16. It's a W layout with quad turbocharging. But make no mistake, it produces over 1,600 horsepower and defines the limits of combustion engine insanity. V16s are just too much for cost, emissions, and modern practicality. That's why most brands stay away. Concepts like the Cadillac 16 teased a comeback, but never reached production. That's all. 
please like this video if you think the V16 deserves more. Subscribe for more rare engine breakdowns and automotive deep dives.